Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Your continued love and support here on the channel. For those of you that would like to book a private reading with me, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services with me. So today's pick a card reading, we are looking into uh, your connection with your person. We're going to be asking what is happening in this connection, okay, is what I'm going to title this reading, I think. And then we're going to look at some, how many questions are there? One, two, three, four, five, like six questions. So we're going to first ask what is happening in this connection? What is going on with your person energetically, okay? Are they, like, where are they at? Are they in a good place? Are they, like, is something going on in their life? Um, so what is going on with them energetically, um, what they're not telling you, okay, what are their intentions, what are their next actions, and also what outcome do they want with your connection, okay? So six questions total um, is what we're looking at, um, and we do have three piles for you to choose from today. Um, you can choose based off of what your intuition is telling you or which crystal you feel the most intuitively drawn to. If you need more time to kind of uh, meditate and sit with each of the choices here, um, you can go ahead and pause the video. But for pile one, we are going to be this trust here. And that is going to be with this jade. Okay. So pile number one with trust. What is happening in this connection? Pile number two, we have gift, and that is going to be with this amethyst. Okay, for pile number two. And then pile number three, you're going to be this card here, beginning. And that is with this selenite. So beginning with this little selenite. Okay. And I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but this little candle here, it has a different, it has a, a different wick on it. It's not the normal little waxy wick on it. It has a little piece of like wood. So it makes like this crackling sound. But just in case you're wondering, what is that sound? It's from that candle. Okay, so those are the choices here. We have trust, gift, and beginning. Pause the video. Timestamps will be down below um, for you guys as well as in the description box. Okay, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pal one. So if those of you that resonated with the trust card, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out what is happening in this connection. We're going to be asking that question as well as what is going on with your person energetically, what they're not telling you, what are their intentions, what is their potential next actions, and what outcome do they want for this connection? Okay, just to kind of give you a little bit more insight into what is happening? <laughs> what is happening in this connection? Okay. So being that we're going to be asking six questions, you know, if I really kind of just sit here and deep dive into all of those questions, that could be, I could be sitting here for a long time <laughs> to look at those questions. So we're going to kind of um, start off with just kind of pulling one card per each of those questions. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them all face down and we're going to look at them one by one. And if we need more clarification, more detail, then we'll certainly get that. Okay, so let's see. And already kind of intuitively what I'm feeling from this one here is there is a person who is standing by themselves. Okay, by themselves on this mound of dirt. And it looks like they're kind of like at the entrance to a little cave that's here. And they're facing this forest. So with trust here, maybe this person is having or needing some time or some clarity, you know, to, to kind of also I'm noticing that this person is kind of like on higher ground where the ground is like down here and here's this just pile of dirt here and they're standing on top of it as they're looking outwards. So it kind of makes me feel like this person is trying to gain some kind of perspective here. 
um, especially if they're having a hard time trusting their heart, their feelings, their emotions. Okay, so we'll see what is coming through here. Okay, so the first question we're asking is what is happening in this connection? Let's pull something for that. What is happening in this connection between you and your person? Pile one, the person that you have in your mind, in your heart. What is happening in this connection? Okay, so there's the first one. All right, now let's ask, what is going on with this person energetically? Okay, what is going on with your person energetically? What is happening? All right, what they're not telling you. What is this person not telling you? What are they not telling you? Okay. Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What are their intentions towards you, pile number one? What are their intentions? Okay. Uh, what are their next actions? Potential next actions towards you. Potential next actions. Okay. And then we got one more question. Which is, what outcome do they want for this connection? Okay. What outcome does your person want for this connection? What outcome do they want? Okay. Now let's see. We've got the three of wands at the bottom. So we'll see how this energy is kind of playing into your reading here. But the three of wands, and look at that. We've got the queen of pentacles right underneath that with the page of cups. So it kind of feels like with this three of wands energy here, this person is doing some future planning, thinking ahead. And I feel like with the queen of pentacles here, they could be thinking about the future of your commitment, the future of your relationship. Um, if you're already committed to this person, then they can be thinking about the future of that. If you're not already in a relationship, then it could be that this person is trying to see, like, are you the right person for them? The page of cups is also about an offer, a romantic gesture, an expression of interest, um, some type of an offer here. So those of you that are not already in a relationship, this person could be doing some thinking ahead. Like, should I come forward and give pile number one this offer here? Should I tell them about my feelings? Should I, you know, can I see myself being with pile number one? Okay, so that's what we got already. But let's look at the, the answers to this question. The first one is, what is happening in this connection? The Empress. <laughs> okay, so this is a beautiful energy. The Empress could talk about the two of you guys being very much in love with each other. It could be that you guys are both very attracted to each other. The Empress is also about manifestation, about fertility, about growth, about um, developing something, nurturing something. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Second question is, what is going on with them energetically? So this is in my opinion, important. We've got the Hierophant. So what is going on with them energetically? The Hierophant energy is about um, our beliefs, our values, our morals. Um, it's also about higher education, learning, wisdom, knowledge. Um, the Hierophant could be our views on traditional type of commitments it could be that this person is someone who is who has a commitment of some kind right now. They're learning lessons right now. They could be reviewing certain beliefs that they have about love, about relationships, um, how they feel about them. Sometimes these uh, beliefs that we have can sometimes be a little bit limiting. Okay, we could have limiting beliefs about love, um, rigid ways of thinking. You know, like, especially if we've been somebody who's gone through a lot of not so great things, it can certainly change our viewpoints on how we look at relationships, how we look at romantic partnerships, love, opening up, being in a committed relationship, getting married, you know, long term relationships, something like that. Okay, so the next question is, what are they not telling you? The Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands, is, as far as what they're not telling you, this person could actually be thinking about reuniting with you, reconciliation, or being in a committed relationship with you. 
Okay. There could also be the four of wands can also talk about the, the household, the home. Um, it could also be about family. So there could be family stuff going on with this person. Um, it could also be, you know, their home life could be something that they're not telling you. This might be something we want to look at a little bit more. Um, the next question is, what are their intentions towards you? The Ace of Cups. Okay. So the Ace of Cups is about a new love. It could be about re reunion, reconciliation. Um, it could be if you're already in a relationship with this person, then the Ace of Cups, as far as their intentions towards you, is opening up their heart to you. <clears throat> opening up to love. Um, a new beginning in love. Starting something for the first time. Or renewing the love that's already there between the two of you. Okay. Um, can also talk about healing as well. So let's see what are their potential next actions towards you. Page of Pentacles. So this is an offer here. It is a small offer. Okay. Which could be the feeling of starting over. Starting new. The Page of Pentacles is something that's tangible. Okay. So it is a start. You know, especially for those of you that have nothing with this person, this is this is the beginning, right? This is the seed that you plant for something in an effort to nurture it with the Empress energy to develop into something bigger, stronger. Okay, so their intention here is to give you this offer here, small one, like I said, okay, but of course it can develop into something further. If you're already in a committed relationship with this person, then the Page of Pentacles may be is putting in more effort, okay? Um, a fresh start for you guys. So what is the outcome do, that they want for your connection? We have the hanged man. Okay, well, that's <laughs> that leaves us kind of stuck here. So the outcome with the hanged man, this could be a changed perspective, okay? So that could be a positive thing. A changed perspective in the way that they look at this. Um... The hangman is also about indecision, though. So we do want to clarify this a little bit more. So let's do that. Yeah, the hangman is indecision, indecisiveness, or a changed perspective. A new outlook, right? A new way of looking at something. So let's get a little bit more. What is the outcome here? The hangman is what they want. What is the hangman energy here? The Three of Cups. So that could be reconciliation for some of you. The Three of Cups is also about um, support, um, coming together, you know, a collaboration of sorts between people, um, communicating with you, okay, socializing, celebrating. The Three of Cups is also is very celebratory energy. Why is the hanged man here? Five of Pentacles and the star. This person might be someone who feels like they're not good enough for you. Okay, that's an and a whole other message here, but that is definitely something that come that comes through here. Um this person might even be somebody who's dealing with financial issues right now. They could be feeling not secure enough within themselves or, yeah, feeling insecure. Okay. This can also be kind of shutting you out a little bit or not feeling too, too secure, I feel like, in a commitment or relationship. The star, you know, is about having faith. It's about having trust, which is what this is about. Trusting, having faith, believing in your ability to make this work or to give it a go in terms of, you know, either starting over, bring in renewal, reconciling, or at least for the first time, you know, opening up your heart here. So I feel like with the star, you know, it may be something that they're working on here as far as the outcome that they want here is, you know, the two of you guys to get along with each other. The two of you guys to really connect with each other emotionally, have fun with each other. But I do feel like this is a little bit of, of a thing that they, this person needs to work on changing. Okay. Um, what's the other one that I wanted to clarify? The Hierophant. Which is part of 
<clears throat> what is going on with them energetically. So, okay, we've got Taurus energy here, Libra, Aries, uh, Cancer, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, and then we also have, yeah, more Taurus energy here. Okay, why is the Hierophant here? Which is what's going on with them energetically. Temperance. And the Two of Wands in Reverse. So Two of Wands in Reverse is an unstable energy. Okay? And maybe it's them who is feeling, because we are, this is what's going on with them energetically. Um, this is a little bit out of balance here. A little bit unsteady, a little bit, you know. So temperance is where a person is trying to regain balance. So they could feel like they're out of out of alignment here, out of balance here, and needing to really, you know, transmute some energy here. There could be some healing. Temperance is also the process of alchemy, alchemizing energies. So if they are someone who's feeling a little bit unsure, unsteady here, especially with that five of pentacles, this would be where they need to transmute that energy to, again, have this change of perspective about this. Okay. I'm also seeing the five of cups underneath the deck too. And the five of cups can talk about grief, pain, sadness, loss, regrets, guilt, um, disappointment, losing hope, lost hope. Right? So if they're a person who's kind of lost hope in this connection or lost hope in love altogether, that can create a little bit of an unsteady energy here surrounding commitments. Okay? But I do have a feeling this person is trying to balance themselves out energetically here because this can be consuming here. These feelings, these emotions that are kind of wrapped up in them emotionally or that they are wrapped up in emotionally that could be creating indecision, indecisiveness, confusion. Right? With regard to what their actions are, we have the King of Wands helping them to make a clear decision with the full energy here, which is about taking a leap of faith. Right? So, if a person is kind of feeling a little bit off energetically or dealing with depression, dealing with struggling with feelings and emotions here, it is something that's throwing their energy out of balance. Okay? So, in order for them to be clear headed with how you know, they're going to, to make their decisions about coming forward here, they have to feel more confident in themselves, right? Maybe for some of you, this is this person building up their self-esteem, building up their, their confidence in themselves. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I want to, I'm going to put this, how do I want to do this? So it doesn't, I want to start clarifying a little bit more with some Oracle. Mm, let's do this. Okay, so that is the potential or the outcome that they want for this. Does that fit? Kind of, sort of, not really. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay. Let's get some Oracle out here and see. So what is happening in this connection, Spirit? What is happening in this connection between pile number one and their person? What does pile number one need to know and see about this connection? What is happening in this connection between pile number one and their person? We have steps here, momentum and movement forward. What is happening in this connection? We have going within, withdrawn, needing space, time for self. That is what I'm feeling this first card that came out here. So they're going within, right? They have to go within in order to think about what their next ups are. How do we move forward? Needing some time for yourself, which means maybe being a little bit withdrawn from you. Okay. We have the battle here, and it says not seeing eye to eye. 
being on two different pages. Okay, so if you guys have had conflict with this person, they might feel like, hold on, let me take some time for myself right now. How do I move forward or how do we move forward? What is happening in this connection between Pile 1 and their person? We have Sour Patch. And it says hot and cold, mixed feelings on and off here. And I'm also seeing healing here. It says recovery from traumatic events that cause pain and suffering. So they could be someone that's healing. Okay. Or you guys could be healing. We also have obstacles here. And it says struggles and challenges. And it could be that that's what you guys are facing right now. Okay. Is these challenges. Um, let's see. What else do I want to put in here? Hmm. What is happening in pile number one's connection with their person? Okay, we have some type of repetitive cycle here happening. Okay, repetitive cycle. And we have options. So maybe for some of you, if this person is non-committal, you know, they could be feeling... This reminds me of the Seven of Cups. Um, they could be somebody who is exploring their options um someone who's feeling confused overwhelmed in this cycle here you know especially if there's somebody who this healing and this pain and suffering really doesn't have anything to do with you um they could be someone who's kind of spiraling in terms of their own thoughts their own feelings about love Okay, remember, we're dealing with a little bit of an unstable energy here, that Five of Cups. So if this person is kind of caught up in that and feeling a little unstable and unable to make choices, you know, it could leave them in a place where they're feeling a little bit scattered here. Okay. All right, let's see what else for pile number one. What is this? What is happening in pile number one's connection with their person? We have equality here. And a letter. It says a message or contact from your love is on the way. So remember for those of you that are waiting for um, communication from this person. Equality is, you know, kind of like the justice card. And I feel like more or less this is about... Potentially that you and this person kind of settling any differences that you might have there. It's also about treating each other fairly, honestly. Um, it can also be about making a decision here. So some of this person could be making a decision about whether or not to reach out to you or to open up to you about something. What is happening in this connection? Friendship. So some of you, it could be a friendship. Um, we have birth here and the key. Friendship, birth, royal crown. It says this love brings honor and recognition. And then we also have the key. So I see that as opportunity. Okay. We have also solitude. And we have grief. Okay, so again, there's the opportunity. Yeah, so some of you, it makes me feel like this person is dealing with something here. Grieving over the loss of something. Some of you, it could be a job. Okay, if this person, like I said, for some of you, could be dealing with a job loss or finances are not good or like I said there could be some type of family home life situation that's not the greatest right now they could be feeling like I need my my space you know wanting to stay optimistic that you guys have some kind of a future together but it kind of feels like this energy is kind of consuming this person so they may feel like I'm not fully able to give you 
that full-on commitment just yet. And that might be also why we have the Page of Pentacles, which again, like I said, is a very small offer here, right? Um, so maybe for some of you, it could be that this person feels like they're not too ready to give like full-on commitment. You know, they're giving into it what they can. Maybe for some of you, it is friendship here and, and maybe needing a little bit of time before they open up into something more, you know? Some of you, this could have even been a situation that started off romantic and kind of went friend zoned or, you know, ended up turning platonic because of a person who's dealing with something emotionally that they need to overcome, which for some of you might have nothing to do with you. Okay. But we have a, an opportunity here with the key. Um... Let's ask spirit here. What is your, what is your advice? What should you do with this connection? What is your advice for this connection with this person? What is your advice here? The magician. What is your advice? The seven of cups and the knight of wands. Hmm. The Five of Cups. Okay. Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom. Well, I feel like if Spirit's saying here, you know, the Six of Pentacles is about re reciprocating energy. And if you honestly feel like this person is someone who's not reciprocating the energy that you're giving. The seven of cups is about options. You know, you have options too. So if this person is making you feel like an option or, you know, this person, this has been a situation that has been stagnant for too long, then I feel like, you know, you also have to think about your own feelings and your own emotions here. Don't put yourself through any unnecessary grief if possible. The Ace of Pentacles is about a new start. We have the Magician here, which is about manifestation. Okay. So there's a need for you to kind of really follow your heart here. Um, you know, those of you that, you know, if you could be holding any type of anger or aggression or resentment, you know, kind of towards this person, I feel like this might be a time to just say, okay, this person is clearly going through something here, you know, we can hold compassion, you know, empathy, hold space for this person, but you also have to take care of you too. You have to be mindful of your, of your feelings and emotions too. So for some of you, it might serve you better to say, okay, you know, that's enough. I've given this person enough time to figure themselves out. And if they're not available right now, I can very much manifest something else because spirit is bringing up here that you do have other options. And maybe for some of you, you should explore that. Okay. Now, those of you where you are committed to this person and you're with them, <laughs> you're in a relationship with them. Um, <clears throat> you know, the Six of Pentacles is about generosity, um, giving to others. So it could be, you know, maybe you're giving this person a little bit of extra support right now. It could be that you are working towards trying to inspire them maybe to overcome certain feelings and challenging emotions that they might have and just kind of being there for them as you kind of move through this this period you know so message is a little bit different if you're already in a relationship with them it's just it's, to me it's more or less kind of like riding through the storm you know riding through the storm and and kind of giving to this person what it is that they need right now if they feel like they need space then you hold space for them and, you know, maybe focus your energy on other projects or things like that that you can work on. But let this person know that you're there to support them. Okay. And let them work through feelings, emotions, things of that nature. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number one. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile 2. So those of you that resonated with this gift card and the amethyst, this is going to be a reading today. So we are finding out what is happening in this connection between you and this person, which is the first question we're going to ask. We're also going to look at what is going on with your person energetically, what they're not telling you, 
what are their intentions, what are their next actions towards you, and what the outcome, what outcome do they want for this connection, okay? So being that we're asking a lot of questions um, for this reading today, I'm going to pull one card for the energy in each of those questions. I'm going to put them all face down and then we'll look at them one by one together and we'll I get a, uh, extra clarification if we need to. Okay, so what is happening in this connection? Let's look first. What is happening in this connection between pile two and their person? What is happening in this connection? Okay, next question. What is going on with your person energetically? What is going on with them energetically? Next question is, what are they not telling you? What are they not telling you? What are their intentions towards you? What are their next actions towards you? What are their next actions? Oops, I'm not going to take this is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess. What are their next actions? What are their next actions towards you? Okay, last question. What outcome do they want for this connection? What outcome do they want for this connection? Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. Let's see how this is playing into your reading. The Six of Pentacles is about reciprocating energy, uh, reciprocating the energy that you give. It can also be about putting in energy, giving something to you energetically. Strength card is about confidence, courage, facing fears, maybe to invest. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with the first message here, which is what is happening in this connection? The magician. Okay. So there is interest that's here. Okay. The magician is about the both of you guys having interest in one another. Um, I could be thinking about manifesting. You could be manifesting them. They could be manifesting you. It can also be about trying to bring something to fruition, but it kind of feels like either this hasn't happened yet. This is just the ideas or the thoughts surrounding it. Nothing's manifested. Okay. Uh, this is also about willpower, having the willpower to create, to manifest. Number two, what is going on with them energetically? The hermit. <laughs> okay. So the hermit energy is when somebody is self-isolating. It is when they are taking time to reflect. They could be feeling a little bit lost right now, trying to find direction, maybe feeling like they need alone time to just think, um, to find themselves, to discover themselves. Here, this hermit, she's kind of it looks like she's buried kind of like under the ground in a little hole here. Okay. Um, it could be that they're going through a little bit of a dark period energetically too. The hermit is really when we're feeling lost. Okay. It, it's when we're, we're trying to find our way, find our path. Um, it could be a person who's, who's, who's at a point in their life right now where they don't know what they want. Um, not knowing what to choose, not knowing what to do. Okay. So this is a, this is a pretty big thing to be going through energetically. Okay. They could be shutting other people out, out of their life, which may not just be you. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be just feeling like I just want to be alone right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I desire. I'm trying to figure all of this out. Okay. So the third question here is, what are they not telling you? The page of wands. Um, the page of wands is excitement. It's about passion. So it could be that what they're not telling you is that they are attracted to you. They think about maybe messaging you, flirting you, flirting with you, um, you know, uh, wanting to, to start down a new path. It could be that they're not telling you about certain interests that they have or certain creative ideas that they have that they want to pursue, especially if a person's going through this energetically. Okay. 
They could be feeling like, okay, what is my next step on my path right now? What, what are my desires? What do I, what is my heart calling me towards? So maybe they might not necessarily be letting you in on that too. Okay. So what are their intentions towards you? The judgment card. Hmm. Well, judgment is about making literally a judgment, a decision here. The judgment card is about answering the call of our soul. Um, some of you, if this person is an ex-partner, judgment could be them deciding whether or not they want to bring renewal into this connection or whether or not they want to leave it in the past. Okay. Um, so let's, let's, um, I think we're going to clarify this a little bit more. Okay, so the other question is, what are their potential next actions towards you? The king, ooh, king of pentacles. This is serious commitment here. Serious commitment. Okay, so what outcome do they want for this connection? The emperor, wow. Okay, so the emperor is about just taking decisive action it's also an energy of stability, a solid foundation for this relationship. So this makes me feel like this person, the outcome that they want is to have a serious, committed relationship with you. So here, right, we've got our Six of Pentacles underneath the deck with the Strength card and the Page of Pentacles, which would be starting something, investing into something serious with you, a tangible beginning or starting over in this case, for some of you that are, this is a past person, ex-partner, the Hierophant is commitment. Okay. And maybe this is them having the courage to face their fears, which I'm seeing are still here. The devil is here with the two of cups. So they could be afraid. They could definitely be afraid here. The wheel of fortune here makes me feel like this person is kind of going through things in circles, like spinning and spinning and thinking like, you know, can I open myself up to you? Can I be vulnerable? Can I trust this connection? And there could definitely be some fears here, insecurities, doubts that this person might have. There could even be fears of commitment that this person is trying to work through here. You know, I feel like they want to have this future with you, something solid, something stable. But for a person who is experiencing this energetically, you know, sometimes we need to allow people to just kind of have their space and take time to think, you know. But as far as their next actions here, the King of Pentacles are is a dependable energy. It's solid. It's stable. It's secure. So I feel like it's kind of like this person when before they make a move, it kind of feels like this person doesn't want to feel shaky doing it. They want to make sure that they're, they're, they feel good and they feel confident and they know what they're doing and they feel good about it. Okay. Not some kind of like wishy-washy, I'm I feeling unstable and let me just kind of jump into it. It's kind of like this person, when they commit, they want to make sure like, I'm doing this. I'm all in, you know. And so they could definitely be with that hermit energy doing some soul searching here. Okay. <clears throat> so... Um, I do want to look at the hermit energy here. So with the gift, this makes me feel, mm, I mean, here there's a little box that's being opened up, a little purple box and it's opening up and there's all of this beautiful light and magical energy that's coming out of it. So to me, this is like, there's an opportunity here between the two of you and it's maybe this is this person kind of really opening up to what this connection could actually bring um we might clarify this a little bit more let's uh let's look at this hermit a little deeper why is the hermit here The Three of Cups. Yeah. So it makes me feel like this person is a little withdrawn here. They could be withdrawing from socializing with other people. 
They could be needing support right now. Maybe they have the support of close people to them, friends, or literally just kind of shutting them, shutting people out here. Nine of Swords is anxiety, stressing, worrying. You know, they could be having issues, um, not thinking clearly. Their mind is racing, their thoughts are racing. Okay. Why is the Hermit here? The Queen of Wands. Hmm. Okay, so we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do have Fire Sign Energy here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Virgo, um, Gemini, Cancer. Hmm. I feel like this person feels very attracted to you. Okay. I do feel like this person is trying to work towards building up their self-esteem and their confidence with, with going after you, pursuing you. Mm. We've also got a Gemini here. Okay. So this was their next, was it? No. We've got what outcome do they want? What actions? Their intentions. I want to look at this judgment card with the intentions. What judgment? What are their intentions? What is this judgment card here? The Five of Cups. The Moon. And the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. This person, Pile 2 is someone who's still healing from a past breakup. And it could be the breakup between you and them. Okay. If you've had a challenging past with this person and you guys had a bad breakup and you're trying to reconcile with this person, this person could still be holding on to suppressed feelings and emotions. The four of wands in reverse can be an unstable or an unhappy, unbalanced relationship. And with the five of cups, they could still be feeling disappointed about it or sad about it. In which judgment would mean, can this person forgive you? Can they forgive themselves? Can they put their past in the past? If this is a situation where this past grief over a loss of a relationship has nothing to do with you and it's not your connection with them, this is saying that this person still is holding on to their past baggage. Okay? And that past baggage is something that's affecting their ability to move forward with you. So as far as their intentions here, I feel like there's still a lot of anxiety that's here. They, this person may have lost hope in their ability to be able to have a healthy, stable relationship. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do now? I want to look again at this. What outcome do they want? We have the emperor. What outcome do they want with pile number two? What outcome? Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman. Wheel of Fortune is about going with the flow. I feel like this person is working on trying to change their perspective. Okay. Maybe that is why they need that, that time. They need that space because they want to feel more solid. They want to be able to just surrender and give in to what their heart is telling them in this uh, connection here. Okay. I feel like they want to be able to move past these challenges so they could feel confident about making a decision to come towards you. Okay. I want to look at the gift here. What is the gift here? Pile number two. The Page of Cups. Okay. So the Page of Cups can be an apology. It can also be an expression of interest. Okay. It could be flirting. It could be asking you on a date. It could be, you know, coming towards you to, with some type of an offer here. Okay. I also feel like with the Page of Cups, because this can also talk about self-love and healing, that maybe there is something 
beautiful to come from this, right? Regardless of what, you know, you've got going on with this person right now. But I also feel like this is something that may be helping this person to heal. Um, it could be something that's catalyzing their reflection within themselves to help them to heal. It could be something that's very healing for you as well. Okay. Um, I want to, I'm going to move a little bit of this so we can start pulling some more energy here in the cards, Oracle cards. So we're going to put this up here and this up here, these over here and let's pull some more here and let's ask spirit what is happening. What is happening in this connection between pile number two and their person? What is happening in this connection between pile two and their person? We have imaginary here, false, too good to be true and make believe. What is happening in this connection? We have super sweet here charming kind gestures and then we also have snail's pace here slow pro progress and a need for to reevaluate. so maybe things are very slow moving here and maybe because they're slow moving maybe for some of you you could be thinking like this is too good to be true they can even be thinking like this is too good to be true okay maybe they are someone who's choosing to move really slow or you just feel like it's like this connection isn't really progressing, you know, as, as quickly as you would like. Um, we also have incoming abundance here and it says reliable structure and a foundation. To me, this is kind of like that King of Pentacles energy or the Emperor. This is something solid. So is it very slow moving for some of you towards an actual solid, secure commitment here, you know? Maybe you guys are being super sweet with each other, but maybe there is, you know, maybe things that are a little bit either superficial at this time or a person who's not really letting you like really in very deeply. You know, it could be someone, like I said, who has their own beliefs of not trusting, right, that they can have. Like I said, for some of you, if they've been through something pretty difficult in the past, that they are someone who is not trusting that having a stable balanced relationship is something that's possible because they're still dealing with stuff from baggage from their past okay all right let's see what else what is happening in this connection between pile number two and their person what is happening we have isolation and helpless okay so this person could be We've got the hermit with what's going on with them energetically. They could be isolated in the self. We have helpless. Okay, which means that this person could be feeling kind of kind of down. We have mending here. I mean, you could be feeling helpless in the situation too. We have a barrier at the bottom. Self-love that's needed. So someone is going through this, which could very well be them. Okay, going through this energetically. We've got uncertainty here. For the two of you, someone's still healing. Maybe you guys are trying to mend this relationship and maybe you're, you're feeling helpless because this person is isolating themselves from you instead of trying to work together. But with the barrier being here, to me, it's kind of like there's a roadblock here and someone is needing to focus on self-love. That could be you. It could be them. There's definitely healing and mending that needs to happen here. So there is kind of like this energy of uncertainty. Um... It's here. Hold on a second. My dog is barking. Okay, hopefully she stopped for a little bit. What is happening in this connection between pile two and their person? Okay, we have frigidity here, which means that things might be a little bit cold between the two of you right now, meaning that there may not be a whole lot happening. Could even be some of you in a no contact situation. Um, so we have death here, the one, trapped, we have reconciliation, and also perspective. Okay, 
So we have death, which, you know, maybe there has been some type of ending here. Maybe this is about changes, transformation. Um, here we're seeing a little butterfly that's kind of like in the bottle. And transform or uh, butterflies are also a symbol of transformation. Um, maybe this person with the trapped here, you know, they're they're trapped in a certain way of thinking, a certain way of feeling. Maybe this connection's growth has been stifled in some regard. Maybe it stopped. Like I said, maybe there is some stagnancy here between the two of you with what's happening, preventing it from growing any further. Um. Some of you could feel like this person is your person. You could really be wanting reconciliation here. Um, if you are trying to reconcile with this person, then it could be that someone is trying to gain some perspective here on whether or not they do want to reconcile here. Um, if, if you haven't ever had a relationship with this person before, the reconciliation to me is about this person reconciling their past. Okay, reconciling the past, letting it go, growing from it, integrating what they've learned um, so that they can give, I feel like, this connection um, a chance here. But yes, we have frigidity at the bottom. Heartache is right underneath that. And it says pain and distress will only come from this love. Best protect your heart. So if this person that you're dealing with here is someone who's, like I said, still carrying baggage here from their past, they might be someone who kind of is cold, closed off, detached, has a hard time trusting in love again, you know, preventing it. There could even be self-sabotage here. I want to see what the energy is surrounding the one. What is the energy surrounding the one? The five of pentacles. And the four of cups. It's like you might be like the most amazing, perfect person for this person. And with the five of pentacles energy here, this is insecurities. Four of cups is a person who is rejecting something right in front of their face. You know, closing themselves off to something that could very well be beautiful. So it makes me feel like this person isn't even allowing them to see what this connection could be you know so there's a lot of growing a lot of nurturing self-love is needed is what spirit is saying here for this person to really open up their heart i'm seeing the empress and the queen of swords at the bottom okay the empress is very much open to give to receive where this other energy of the queen of swords is detached is closed off is protective so you could be someone who's really trying to nurture trying to love trying to give and this person could be someone who's so wounded that they associate being in falling in love or opening themselves up with pain with heartache and those are really things that this person has to work on within themselves so this makes me feel like this person is kind of closing themselves off to something that's beautiful that they know is there they see within you, right? You're coming in as the empress here. Beautiful energy. But for some of you, this person might feel like, I'm not good enough for you. Um, I've got insecurities here. I don't trust opening up my heart. This is too good to be true. I don't believe this. I don't trust this. Okay? So I definitely feel like you, pile number two, have been someone who has catalyzed some type of significant growth within this person to really help them to look deeper into themselves to do this healing. Okay. I, I kind of feel like energetically as much as this person wants to say, okay, I want to have something. I want my perspective to be changed. I want to open up to this and surrender to it and just kind of go with the flow of this as much as they want that there is work that this person has to do. Okay, there's a lot of releasing here, whether that is a past that was before you, or it's something that's happened here in your connection with this person, they have to deal with they have to process they have to move through, you know, with it with the hermit energy, when we're in that dark place, the only way out is through. And the only way through is going within this person needs that time to reflect needs that time to heal. Otherwise, Again, you could be the most perfect, amazing person in the world and they're still not available. 
right? They're not open to it. Okay. And of course, this is this is something that goes both ways. Okay, but yeah, that's what's going on here. Okay, so let's get some advice for you. Um, pile number two, what is your advice on this? What is your advice on this connection with this person? You know, and I will have to say to you, like, if, if, if nothing happens with regard to you and this person making this connection work, know that there is, there is a gift here. Okay. And the gift is that you've given this person your heart, you've given them love, you've given them nurturing. And at least on a spiritual level, you can see it is that I've helped this soul to really open up and to face these things that they needed to face, you know, to, to start on that healing, which a lot of people as soon as they get triggered, right, they shut down, they close themselves off, and they're just like, oh, I don't want to do this work right now. I'm going to pretend like it's not there. I'm going to stuff it away, and I don't want to deal with it. Where I feel like you've gotten into this person so deeply that it's really started something within them. And it could be a little bit of a process for them, right? Healing doesn't isn't something that happens overnight. But you could have catalyzed this, uh, um, I feel like, a tremendous amount of growth and self-reflection for this person. So that, I feel like, is the silver lining here, is you've been able to love and know that your feelings are real, that they're valid. You've been able to give yourself in that way and that it's truly a beautiful thing. Okay, it's very Empress energy. It's compassion. It's empathy. It's love. It's nurturing. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, which is about truth. It's about clarity. Uh, your advice here. What is your advice on this connection? We have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So some of you, I feel like what Spirit's saying here is that, <clears throat> you know, there is healing that needs to happen. It could be for you. It could be for them. Um... You know, some of you might be needing the courage to walk away from this person if this person is not ready energetically. You know, of course, you can hold space for them. But this, I feel like there's some challenges here with this moving forward right now. Of course, that might change in the future. Um, but I feel like in this person's current state, with you trying to give and give and give, and this, this person is closing themselves off to receive from you, you know, this may also be a need for you to kind of set some mm, kind of like boundaries for yourself as well. You know, like how, how long am I going to keep giving to this person if they're not going to receive? And you might have to say, okay, I'm going to give this person another month and see if things change. You know, give yourself a little timeline. Doesn't mean that you have to give this person an ultimatum. But you can say, okay, let's pay attention to this person's activity or actions towards me and see if they change within the next month or the next three months and say, okay, if nothing changes, you know, I, I need to, I need to start detaching. I need to start walking away and, you know, do your own healing and focus on moving forward. Have the confidence, um, face your fears, uh, surrounding letting go here. Okay. Cause holding on to someone when you're trying to give and give and give may only be something that ends up hurting you in the long run. If that person is not open to you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number two. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonate with this beginning card and the selenite. Okay. So this could be saying that this connection between you and this person has been something that has just started. Um, it could be that there is a new beginning. Um, so I want to see what comes through with your tarot. We're asking spirit today, what is happening in this connection, which is going to be the first question we're going to ask. We're also going to ask what is going on with them energetically what they're not telling you, what are their intentions, what are their next actions, and what outcome do they want for this connection, okay? Being that we're asking a lot of questions today, um, I don't want to make the reading too long, so we're going to pull one card for each of the questions, and if we need to clarify any energy, then we will, okay? So I'm going to, when I pull these cards, I'm going to put them all, at first, I'm going to put them all face down, and then we'll look at them together. 
Okay, so the first question is, what is happening in this connection between you and this person, pile three? What is happening? What is happening in this connection between you and your person? What is happening? Okay, now, what is going on with this person energetically? What is going on with them energetically? What are they not telling you? Okay. What are they not telling you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What are their intentions towards you? What are their potential next actions? And then the last question we have is, what outcome do they want for this connection? What outcome do they want for this connection? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Beautiful. Let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, first question, what is happening in this connection? The four of wands. Okay. Well, the Four of Wands is a card of balance, a card of stability, commitment, um, could be reunion. Some of you may have reunited with this person, especially with beginning here. Maybe this is a new beginning with you guys being reunited with each other. Um, the Four of Wands can also be a very celebratory energy. Um, maybe there's this energy hovering around about coming into union, coming into balance. The Four of Wands is also a card of harmony. Okay, so it could be that you and this person feel a mutual attraction, desire towards one another. So let's see what else. Pile three. What is going on with them energetically? We have the Hierophant. Okay, so the Hierophant is about lessons. So this person could be undergoing some spiritual lessons right now. It could be that this person is you know, thinking about commitments, the commitments that they have right now, whether that be job, family, relationships, anything that's really going on in their life right now. Um, let's see what else is here. Third question is, what are they not telling you? The Ten of Wands. Look at that. Okay. So the Ten of Wands energy could be that this person is not telling you that they're feeling really overwhelmed right now. Under a lot of stress, they could feel a lot of pressure. For some of you, this might even have to do with uh, family, culture, religion, things of that na nature. But yeah, the Ten of Wands is feeling burdened. It's feeling a sense of maybe having a lot of responsibilities, a lot on their plate. Um, they could be feeling stressed out. They can be feeling overworked. They could be somebody who's really busy with work or is kind of spreading their energy really thin. Okay, so they may not be necessarily telling you how much stress they have, how much pressure they have, how much of whatever this heaviness consists of. The Ten of Wands is being weighed down by energetic burdens. Okay, so that's what they're not telling you. Um, they could also, you know, they could also be someone who is very, very attracted to you. And the Ten of Wands can also be what they're not telling you is that they're holding so much passion, desire, towards you that they're trying to restrain themselves they're trying to hold themselves back from with all of that intensity of what they feel with you okay that's another way to look at this um the next question is what are their intentions towards you the world interesting the world we'll have to clarify this a little bit more because the world energy can talk about an ending um, the world can also talk about travel. Uh, so we'll have to clarify this a little bit more. What are their potential next actions towards you? The nine of wands. This is guarded. Okay. We're going to have to clarify this a little bit more. Uh, what outcome do they want for your connection? The chariot. Okay. Okay. So Chariot is about having the willpower to move forward, okay? The Chariot is something that 
helps to lead us towards success, towards victory. Um, it's about balancing two opposing forces of energy, meaning if you guys are trying to really help this connection to progress and move forward, you guys have to come together, right, to be on the same page in order to be successful here. And you did have the lovers at the bottom. Let's see what's underneath that. We've got the lovers, the hanged man, and the moon, and the two of cups. Interesting. Okay. Well, I do feel like there is a very strong connection between you and this person. Okay. There is, there is a strong connection that's here. I feel like this person is someone who could be suppressing a lot of their feelings and their emotions or even a person who has a lot of fears and anxiety about really opening up and being vulnerable here. This, the hangman can talk about stagnancy or indecision or something that's a little bit stuck right now. And maybe because the lovers is also about a major decision, making a choice, going with what your heart is telling you. Okay, so maybe if their heart is saying we should be together, you know, they could be dealing with all of these confusing feelings and emotions here. So let's clarify. I, I specifically want to clarify the world is what their intentions are. Their intentions are with the world, which is about endings. It's about the completion of something, the completion of a cycle. Um, it can also be a tr about traveling, like I said, for those of you where maybe that makes sense. Like if you guys are at a distance from each other and mm, let's see, let's see what else. What are their intentions towards you? The world, but being about endings also allows for new beginning, right? So if they have like kind of like a chapter of their life that they have not closed yet, that could be working on just kind of completing um, that cycle there. So let's see what else. Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Whoa. That one just flew right off the table. Let's see. Okay. So we have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Why is the world here? Judgment and the Empress. Okay. So this makes me feel like this person's intentions towards you. I feel like I'm seeing the King of Wands at the bottom. So the intention is to come towards you with confidence. Okay. With passion, with desire. But I feel like with the Five of Cups here and the Judgment card... You know, and of course, like I told the other piles, if this, if your person is someone who's kind of holding on to stuff from their past, you know, it, it's, it's kind to trying to gain freedom from that, you know, so that they're not bringing their, their, their stuff from previous relationships and stuff into this connection with you. So I feel like the intention is kind of in a way, like, let me take care of this. Let me release this stuff that I'm holding on to because the five of cups is a pretty heart heavy type of energy. Um, it's, it's feeling disappointment. It could be feeling struggling with depression, um, feeling sad, having regrets, feeling guilt, feeling a bunch of heavy stuff here. Judgment would be where this person just kind of releases and brings about a rebirth, a transformation. And I'm feeling like first and foremost within themselves, because the Empress energy here is about manifesting something with you, having something with you. The Empress is about love. So where we have this card of beginning here, it makes me feel like this person is wanting this with you. They want to, they want this connection to move forward. They want it to progress. They want it to be successful. Um, so it could be ending something, like I said, some kind of chapter of their life. 
there is, I feel like, a big decision. Maybe this means this person has to make some sacrifices here. There could be something that they need to end, certain commitments that they need to end, whether that is where they live, um, commitments with their family, commitments with a job. Um, I'm feeling that there are sacrifices that have to be made here. But to me, this is coming towards you. This is really opening up to their your connection with each other. Okay. As far as the intention here. All right. So what else do I want to clarify? I think I want to look at what are they not telling you with this Ten of Wands. What is this Ten of Wands energy? Three of Cups and the Six of Cups. Okay. So some of you, this person is holding on to a third party, per, third party person's energy. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic interest, but there is an outside influence of energy that this person is holding on to from their past. It might even be childhood. Okay. And this person is, is struggling here with letting that go. So there could be other people that are, I feel like other people that are involved here, okay, that are, that are creating influences here. And that's what this person is not telling you. Okay. Maybe they're not coming straight out and saying, Hey, you know, I'm still, I still have this old relationship that's really bothering me and I can't, you know. It's, it's something that, that's kind of weighing on this person energetically here. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else did I want to do? Their next actions with that Nine of Wands. This is guarded energy here. Let's see. Let's clarify it some more. What is this Nine of Wands energy? Two of Wands, Four of Cups. Uh. Mm, okay, well, this person's next actions here, I feel like are not very, how do I explain that? It's kind of like this person's next actions here. Okay, here's the choices. There's guarded energy here. On one hand, we have the Ace of Cups. This would be giving your connection a chance. Okay. Then on, then the Two of Wands is here, which is about making a choice. This is where the indecision is. Two of Wands, making a choice here. Guarded energy. This person's wounded. Okay. You're dealing with a wounded person here. A person who's gone through a lot. Um, and they're still carrying that energy. So it leaves this person with their next actions in this two of wands energy, which is needing to make a choice. Now, on one side, we've got Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning in love or reconciliation for some of you. On the other side of that, we have the Four of Cups energy here, which is rejection. It is closing themselves off to it. So the next actions are stuck. So I kind of feel like this person is not quite sure yet what next action they're going to take, but it is one of the two. Okay. Four of cups is closing ourselves off. It is rejection. It is when we're pushing an opportunity that's right in front of us, we're pushing it away. Or a person who's distracted by other things. We've got some, some energy up here that this person is still holding on to. Okay, Four of Cups is also missed opportunities. So it could be that this person is choosing to say, okay, here's this, op here's this opportunity with pile number three. I don't know if I'm going to take it. I'm not sure if I want this right now. So it makes me feel like the next action is in between the two of these here. But I will say I'm noticing that this two of ones, her face, you know, the way that it's kind of turned here. I think I want to clarify a little bit more here. What is this two of wands? Ace. What is this? King of swords. And the knight of cups. This person is trying to get some clarity on their feelings. 
You know, the King of Swords is about this person wanting to talk to you. It's about being honest with you about their feelings, which I do feel like this person does have feelings towards you, romantic feelings with the Knight of Cups here. I feel like this person uh, cares for you more than they're letting on, more than they're telling you. Some of you, this person is in love with you. Okay, I'm seeing the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck too. Um, so I feel like this person does want to be honest with you about their feelings. That could be one of the choices here too, right? With what their next actions are, they could be coming forward and being vulnerable with you, telling you what their feelings are. Okay, so some of you might be receiving communication from this person about their feelings or about some type of offer or proposal here. But again, we've got an indecisive energy here. On one side, rejection. On the other side, I'm just going to go with it. Okay. So let's move this out of the way and the outcome that they want is the chariot. Let's see. What else? What else? What is the outcome that they want here with you? Six of wands and the nine of swords, which in this case, this chariot is gaining freedom from their overthinking, from their anxiety six of wands is being able to have a success a victory an accomplishment overcoming something so it makes me feel like this person's the outcome that they want with you is to be able to move forward let go of the fears and anxiety and be successful in doing so give this connection the recognition that they feel that it truly does deserve okay so I want to see what this beginning is here. Page of Wands, which is starting down a new path. It's about excitement, exploring, discovering. The Emperor and the Seven of Wands. Yes, which in this case, I feel like is perseverance. Pushing past the obstacles. That this person is dealing with energetically. Also, you guys chose selenite. Selenite is a really powerful crystal that clears um, energy. It's also really good for helping to clear like other crystals. That's how powerful this is. So this makes me feel like this. It's almost like a lot of purging here. A lot of clearing you know, the judgment card, what we saw earlier, is about wiping the slate clean, starting fresh, starting new, right? Not bringing our baggage with us into connections. It's, it's giving something a proper chance without that extra energies there that could, you know, change our beliefs and our insecurities and fears and self-sabotaging thoughts and ways of doing things in a relationship, right? We want to start fresh and give something a fresh, clean slate without letting the past interfere. And unfortunately, sometimes that happens a lot, right? Where we're bringing stuff from our past and putting it into a current situation and it causes problems because we don't take the time to heal, Right? We go from connection to connection to connection, never really healing. And it's like all that stuff catches up with you, right? You got to deal with it sometimes. Or at some time, I mean, <laughs> you got to deal with it at some point. You can't just ignore it and pretend like it's not there. It's going to come back, come back up and haunt you. Okay, so now let's pull some Oracle here. I think I'm going to move these a little bit. <clears throat> Mm. Okay. What is happening in this connection between we got stubborn here, hard headed, talking to a brick wall. So maybe you're dealing with somebody who is who's uh stuck in their ways, set in their ways. We also have a brick wall here, so it could be kind of like that block from things progressing we have healing it says recovery from traumatic events that cause the pain and suffering we have the shadows here hidden unknown and mysterious and then we also have robotic heart and it says empty feelings born in routine so somebody with a robotic heart 
makes me feel like they're not truly letting it love in. You know, they're cold, they're closed, they're detached. Um, the shadows reminds me of the moon energy in which a person might have a lot of repressed or suppressed feelings, emotions, fears, anxiety, confusion. Maybe this is like leaving you in a place where you're confused. You feel uncertain about what's going to happen. What is happening in this connection? We have slipping here. And it says time to confront issues, make a move. So it could be that, you know, the connection is slipping away in a sense that something needs to change. Right? It could be time. It could be that you've already given this person time and nothing's changing, right? So you, you have a limit too, right? You can't keep waiting and waiting and waiting for this person to kind of like get it together, right? Okay, let's see what else. What is happening in this connection between Kyle 3 and their person? What is happening? Yeah, we've got worried here with adversity. So it could be you worried, them worried, facing challenges here. We have illumination. So maybe there's a lot of things that are coming to light here. Um, we also have freedom here. And I'm feeling like as things are being illuminated, that is what either one of you are gaining freedom from. But yeah, feeling a little worried here. Maybe for some of you, you could be in separation with that energy of freedom here too. Okay. All right, let's see. Pile three. What is happening in your connection with this person? What is happening? Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, let's, let's stop there. Okay. So we have romance here. So there's definitely romantic feelings, emotions there. We have closeness here. It says you and me. The bond between you creates a special understanding. So you guys have like this, you know, maybe even unspoken, this bond between the two of you that you just know you both feel it. Um, we have letter here and it says a message or contact from your love is on the way. So maybe for those of you that haven't heard from this person, this person will be reaching out to you. We have memories here, so there could also be a lot of nostalgia here. Thinking about the past, revisiting the past, looking at pictures of each other. We also have message here, so you guys have that twice. Message. And then we also have divine protection. It says the universe is keeping your love connection safe. Divine protection. So some of you, this might be a faded connection, okay, between you and this person. We have, yeah, spiritual. Some of you have a very spiritual connection. Maybe spirit is trying to guide each of you through this, to move through this energy, to gain freedom, fright from the past. We also have carnival here, which kind of makes me feel that maybe there's a lot of repeated cycles that are happening here. There could be a lots of ups and downs. It could be that you guys are working through karmic energy here. What else? What is happening in this connection? We have heartache here. Control. Maybe this person is trying to control the situation. You could be trying to control it. Um, someone could be uh, afraid of getting hurt with the heartache here. It says pain and distress will only come from this love. Best protect your heart. So it could be the idea that they have about, oh, I've been so hurt in the past. If I open myself up again, I'm just going to get hurt. Okay. So, I mean, you may also need to protect yourself too, really depending on what's going on with you and this person. And then we have self-love here. So it could be something you're doing, they're doing, something that needs to happen. Okay. Okay. All right, so what I want to do to close out your reading, I want to ask Spirit here, 
what is your advice, okay, for this connection? What is your advice here for this connection? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is about going the going with the flow. It's also about releasing control, okay? Someone is trying to take control of this. You know, in a way, control can be like us trying to manipulate the outcome, us trying to force something. Your advice here with the Wheel of Fortune is surrender, release control. Trust that if this connection is something that is meant to be, it will be. Okay? This is understanding that the universe is very much, I feel like, especially with this divine protection and spiritual energy here. This is not something that you have control over. This is something that the divine is leading. So there's a need for us to trust that if this is something for you and this person that is meant to be, that everything will happen in perfect divine timing. The Wheel of Fortune is about fate. It's about destiny. It's also about karma, um, changes, cycles. <clears throat> and this is a need for us to release that need to control something okay i feel with that wheel of fortune is also about um things improving right so maybe there's a cycle right now that you and this person are kind of going through maybe there's a need for you to trust that things will that will get better okay things will improve here um let's see what is your advice the ten of swords you know, this may be working on your healing, okay? I, I feel like Spirit's also saying to you here, try to not get in your head too much. Try not to overthink so much. Um, the star energy is about having faith. It's about having trust. It's also about healing, Okay, so maybe you are someone who needs some healing right now, maybe needing to focus on your healing. Um, I'm also feeling like Spirit is telling you here, don't lose hope, don't lose faith in this connection, but give it the time that it needs, okay? Try not to control it and try to force it like it needs to work like right now. We need to be together right now, especially if there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here. Let things fall into place the way that they're meant to, okay? All right, so I'm going to leave this here for you, pile number three. I do hope this is helpful for you guys, and then we'll see you guys in the next reading.